Welcome to our lecture online. In order to be able to speak probability in terms of statistics, we need to know some of the terms because if we don't use the terms correctly, we might get confused. So what are some of those basic terms that we ought to know and ought to understand? Well, here are some of them. They're not an, an all-inclusive set, but it's a good starter set. And we'll learn more terms as we go along in the videos to come. But at least we should be familiar with this. First of all, an ordered pair. An ordered pair is a method of listing outcomes. And we'll talk about the term outcome if there are only two possible outcomes. For example, when we toss a coin, we can have heads or tails, or tails or heads, two heads, two tails, two possible outcomes. And so if there's two possible outcomes, we can list them as an ordered pair. Or if we toss two coins, for example, what will they both be? One of them will be heads, the other one will be tails. Again, that will be listing them as ordered pairs. Secondly, an experiment. An experiment is any process, and it's a very general term, any process that gives a result or an observation. That result or observation could contain a number of things, but the basic principle is we go and do an experiment to end up with some results. Third, we have the, the word trial. A trial is a single action or a set of repeated actions as part or as a whole experiment. So a single trial could be the entire experiment or it could be that it's repeated trials to make up an experiment. And the trial itself could be a single action or it could be a multiple repeated set of actions. So you can see that a trial could be the experiment or a trial could be a portion of an experiment depending upon what is happening in the experiment. The outcome is the result of an experiment and that's very simple here. Let's say we have a bag of marbles, three different colors. We go and grab a marble that would be the experiment. The outcome is that I end up with a marble. In this case either a green marble, a red marble, or a blue marble. And so the fact that I end up with a green marble is the outcome of that experiment. And based upon the number of marbles in the bag it looks like it was about a one-third or 33% probability that it would end up with a green marble. And then, that is the theoretical probability. Of course, the experimental probability would be very different until I did it many, many, many times. The sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. So in this case, if there's three different colors of marbles in the bag and I grab one marble, the different outcomes is that I could have a green marble, a red marble, or a blue marble. And so that would be the sample space. And so I use the word S and with parentheses like this, I list all the possible outcomes. And so that's called the sample space. In this case, the sample space is three different types of outcomes. The sample point is an individual outcome in a sample space. So in this case, the fact that I got green is what we call a sample point of the sample space. And finally, the word event is any subset of a sample space, or we can define it as a set of outcomes of an experiment. So in this case, for example, I could grab two marbles. I got a red one and a green one. That would be an event. I grabbed two marbles and I had a set of outcomes, two outcomes in this case, they happen to be different, and it would be a subset of a sample space because the sample space was, the possibility was blue, red, and green. If I only took two marbles, I only got two of the three different possibilities out of that particular sample space. And so that's how we define an event. So there's some gray areas in between sometimes, but Pretty well, let's adhere to those definitions. It'll make a lot easier when we, talk, when we talk probability among ourselves. And that is how it's done.